everybody. My name is Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Welcome back. It's good to see everybody. Let us know your first name, where you're watching from, what the weather's like where you are, who you're rooting for in the Super Bowl. That's what we're talking about today. It's coming up, man. It's like Sunday. It happened quick, didn't it? Everything's happening quick. It's like everything is slow, 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 slow. slow. Ah, it's right there. <laughs> The <laughs> Super Bowl is no different. So, uh, uh, Super Bowl is coming up. Everybody's thinking about tailgating ideas, and it's always fun to go with the theme of the cities that are playing. So, we got Cincinnati, we got LA. LA's tough because you know, what the hell is LA? You put kale on everything. So, uh, I'm going to start thinking about uh, uh, LA a little bit. We're going to come on uh, probably Saturday and do some LA food, but dude, Cincinnati. Cincinnati's easy, man. It's chilly. Cincinnati chilly. And by the way, uh, say hi to Trish. Trish is the hand. Here we go. So now, uh, uh, my mother-in-law, Trisha's mom, is from Ohio, man. So I have an expert in the house in Cincinnati chili. She knows it. She came up and tried mine, and she was like, a little more sugar. Dead on. So guys, uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, before we get into all the different kind of ideas, uh, what you can do with this chili and some really cool looking food, let's look at how we made the chili. Uh, so I'm going to invite you in my kitchen here. We did this... Uh, um, Oh, what we, yeah, no, earlier today. Oh, my God, again, the, the days are just flying by. Guys, check this out. Here's the recipe, how to make the chili, and then when we come back, we're going to set this right. All right, everybody, today we're talking about Cincinnati chili, one of the most famous regional classics anywhere in the country. You're going to need a few ingredients for this, but it's so simple, it's so tasty, and wait till you see all the things that we're going to do with this, especially for game day. So let's start with our kind of wet ingredients. You're going to need six ounces of tomato paste. You're going to want to grab two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and you're going to want to make sure that you've got about a pound and a quarter to a pound and a half of ground beef. Now I'm using 80-20, you can go 85-15, whatever it is you want to do, more fat, more flavor, we all know that. All right, so for our spices and our dry ingredients, first things first, chocolate, that's one of the things that makes Cincinnati chili so special. You got a quarter cup of chili powder. Lots of chili powder, that's gonna add so much flavor. You got about a teaspoon, a full teaspoon, don't skimp, on cinnamon. These three ingredients, these make uh, Cincinnati chili so special. Now, you've also got garlic powder, about a teaspoon. You've got cumin, another teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of allspice, and then you've got another half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Now, your dried pepper flakes, this is where you control the heat with Cincinnati chili. You want it a little hotter, add a little more, a little bit less, well, you can take it from there. Salt, pepper, and about a half a teaspoon of sugar. And that's really all you need. Now, this is a great time to break out your cast iron. I'm using a Lodge enameled cast iron pot. These are one of my favorites. Any chilies, any soups, any stews, grab that out. Lodge is one of the best. Let's fire that up. There we go. Good and easy to clean, which is gonna come in handy later. Now, you're gonna wanna start with all five cups of water in there, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that tomato paste, just like that, the whole thing at once. And this is where it gets fun. This is where we're gonna add our chocolate too. You're gonna go ahead and whisk that up and stir for about three minutes just to make sure all of that chocolate is melted and you really break up all of that tomato paste. Oh man, this is already starting to smell amazing wow that's all i can say this is going to be incredible so now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these amazing spices that we went through everything from that chili powder all the way down to that little bit of sugar and we're just going to get it all right in there at the same time go ahead get it all in there perfect just like that let's get all of that incorporated <laughs> now I've been to Cincinnati, I've had the real deal, and I gotta tell you, this is already smelling great. Hey, you know what, all of these recipes you can do yourself at home, save some money, travel the country without ever leaving your couch, what a great way to do it. Now we're gonna go ahead, add that vinegar in, just like that, and then here comes the fun part. Definitely use some gloves if you want, because now we're gonna be handling all of that great ground beef. So here's what you wanna do, you guys. One of the staples of Cincinnati chili is that the burger and the meat itself is so fine inside. It's all separated basically into those, just those little strands like you see in the package. You don't want big clumps of meat. You don't want anything giant in there that's gonna get caught up in a fork or on a spoon. You want this to be so fine and so consistent in the chili. So let's get this crumbled in and then I'm gonna show you a neat little trick. Perfect. 
All right, we'll get this out of the way. And then here's a great thing to grab for you. You can use a whisk or a fork or better yet, a potato masher. And just go ahead and start mashing that meat right in here. Now, listen, if, you, if, if you're a big chili maker, you know that you're looking at this going, well, hold on a sec, this is not the way we do it. Well, this is how you do it in Cincinnati, you guys. I'll tell you something, this is just gonna make the best, most tastiest darn chili. Let's get this all good and separated. Now we're gonna crank that temperature up and wait for a boil. And listen, if you're looking around your kitchen and thinking to yourself, well, I don't have an enamel coated cast iron pot, you should really get one. Every kitchen should have one. Uh, lodges are, I mean, you, you can't go wrong. You've seen them everywhere. And that enamel coating, holy cow, uh, what that does, that's for longevity, for easy release on the bottom. Uh, and the best part about that is you don't ever have to season them. You get all the benefits out of cast iron. It's generational cookware. It's going to last forever. So now that you got this at a really nice rolling boil, what you're going to do is you're going to leave the lid off for this one. You're going to turn it down. Now, uh, if you're using a, 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 like a, just a regular pot, stainless steel, something like that, you're going to go about medium low. Because I'm using this, I'm going to go low because it's such a great uh, conductor of heat and it retains the heat so well, I don't have to go through uh, quite as much energy or, 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 or propane. So guys, we're going to let this go for about an hour to an hour and a half, probably a little closer to the hour and a half side to get it thicken up. Oh, this is going to be so good. And then you're going to join me out back and we're going to show you some fun things to do with this, especially with game day coming up. Oh man, you got to try this. It's so simple. It's so easy. It smells so good. Yeah, that turned out great. I mean, beyond great. It's so good. So guys, here's what we're going to do. Gonna so let's get in there and have a nice, good look at that, you guys. Here, I set this up really good. I want you guys to be able to see what I see. That looks so good. Holy cow. Wow. And I'm going to do my best to remember to not touch this pot. But I'm serious, guys. Look at this. Is that not freaking perfect? All right, so let's show you a, a, a few really great tailgating ideas that you can do with this. All right, first and foremost, the original Cincinnati chili. If you've never been, they serve it a really cool way. Thin spaghetti. All right. We got a nice little, nice load of that, just like that. Actually, I'm just going to put that right here. And that's fine, perfect, that's beautiful. Okay, so now what they do is they take that chili and they spoon it right over top. Oh, slower. slower, let's do the other one slower, ready? That's nice stuff, that's nice stuff. And then, once they're done with that, they take the cheddar cheese Okay, and we got to make sure that this is shredded fine. If it's not shredded fine, it's not Cincinnati chili. And they put a lot on. All right. So now let's do our next one. A little bit less for that. We got to, you know, we got some calorie counters coming over. And guys, there it is, Cincinnati chili. I mean, that's just fantastic. Look at that. Let's get a couple onions, and we'll get those right on top, just like that. Oh yeah, that's cool. Now that is dinner for one of our guests coming over. So I'm not gonna dive into this one, but I do have something that I am gonna dive into. And guys, this is the showstopper here. I love this. Cincinnati chili is great. Tradition's great. I get it, all right? However, if you wanna have some fun with this, find a spot in your town that sells foot-long hot dogs, all right? And I'll give you a little tip. Even if they just have it on the menu, just ask them for the raw ingredients, you know what I mean? And take it home and cook it yourself. So we've got a nice, giant bun there so now these are totally these are foot long man these are great now uh, we did this a couple of ways i'm using my flat top if you got a blackstone that's great rhino makes one uh cuisinart everybody makes a freaking flat top all right if you got one use it because that flat top is what's going to give you that bubbly crusty sear oh man the the split hot dog is uh something is a takeaway for me from uh, a and w growing up the whistle dogs they always split which was just the best way to do it let me turn this off there you, how many of you have ever done Seriously, there's so many freaking dials here, I always forget one. And then I come back, the, the show's about to start, and I have no gas. And I know Trish is looking at me going, well, turn it off down there. I get it, and I should turn it off down there, but I don't always remember. All right, here we go. Beautiful. So there's one. I love that. And then, if you don't have a flat top, don't despair. <laughs> because, oh yeah, get right in here. You know what? I actually want to see if we can get just there we go perfect 
you got to see this. Ready? Ready? We got, we all lined up, guys. This almost needs applause. I'm going to put a little applause button in. Look at that sucker. Holy cow. Try not to get it too hot. You get all snap out. So <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Shut your mouth, big fella. All right. So here's what's great about this. Okay. Uh, uh, if you've ever tried to cook a hot dog that's this thick, that's not easy, all right, because you end up charring the outside by the time you cook it in the middle. So if you've got something with multiple burners like we've got going here, what you'll do is turn them all on at once, get that nice grill mark going, and then shut the middle one off or shut one of the ends off, and you're going to go ahead and you're just going to, the words escape me, offset is in my head, offset barbecuing. That's not it. Everybody knows what I mean, okay? So there's no actual heat here. The heat's there, so it's continuing to cook, but I got those great grill marks. So now... Let's get my next bun. Here we go. Perfect. And this, th this could turn out poorly because I forgot tongs. So here, Trish, get ready for this. Just, just in case, just in case da Daisy's hoping and praying. It didn't happen, Daisy. I'm so sorry. Look at this. Get in there. Get in there. Let's get this going here. Well, there the cue the dogs. Perfect. Look at that. And now, of course, of course, of course, we gotta go ahead and chillify this. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's so nice. Guys, this chili is so fantastic. That combination of chocolate and cinnamon and cloves and oh my goodness, just out of this world, you guys. So, so good. And remember, make sure you use those pepper flakes to control the heat on this. Don't try doing it with cayenne. Pepper flakes work so much better because you're slow cooking this for like an hour, hour and a half, all right? That's a big deal. That means you got time to pull all of that flavor right out of there. Here we go, ready? Let's get some cheese in there. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. What? Right. Start there and go there. Okay. <laughs> I love to. Trish, Trish is making sure we get the good shot, man. Trish knows. Trish knows where this is going. Perfect. That is beautiful. Onions? We need onions, right? Got to have onions. There we go. Some onions there. Now, I didn't try. <laughs> I, I got to do it, man. You can't. Listen, you can't have a foot long hot dog in front of you and not try it. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn the ever-loving crap out of my mouth doing this. So here's, I actually want the split one. Here we go. <laughs> Such a monster! It's a here. I'll smile with it. We're both smiling. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I gotta get an onion on there. Gotta get an onion on there. All right. Hmm. Mmm. Holy cow. That's so good. You want a bite? Okay. Yeah, I'll just hold it for you. What do you think? We're pretty good. <laughs> That's a good hot dog. All right. Holy cow. All right, let's get this guy. Yum. That's the best ever. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put this here. We got people coming for dinner, so I know they're going to want that. We'll put this off to the side because that's mine. <laughs> Here's some scraps for the dogs. There we go. All right, so I, to, I swear, I, got, I wish we had a, we had to set up a camera up here that's on Trish at all times because that's where the real humor is, right there. All the stuff that you don't see, the faces I get made, the this thing, yeah, whatever. All right, so. I'm going to take this guy and get rid of it, just like that. And I got a bonus one for you here. Here's a really simple thing to do, really simple idea once I find my cloths. If you have a smoker, this is great. Of course, you can use it in the oven. We're talking a temperature of about 375 degrees. Take one of those 12-ounce packages of Velveeta or whatever. We used a spicy Mexican one to give it a bit of a kick. Cube it up and then ladle over about, oh, I don't know, a couple cups couple cups worth of that unbelievable chili let it get to know each other in there and then come game time either being aware that that is smoking hot and you're going to hurt somebody uh, come game time either serve it like that or get everybody with their little chip guys here and just give this a stir check this out 
that cheese is all in there and it's perfect and see that when you do it in the smoker like this not only do you pick up that flavor look at that there's that crunchy cheese on the bottom oh look at the trash look at this look 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 there it is. That that's the money right there, man. That's that's why we came. That's why people showed up for the game. That's why they're wandering over to your truck out in the parking lot. I love it. So guys, if you're shooting for Cincinnati this time around, or you want to just try that themed Super Bowl uh, type of thing, then go ahead. Give this Cincinnati chili a shot. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be so pleased. Here we go. Tr <laughs> Trish is getting two shots at once. Here we go. I'm starving, she says. All right, I got to try one of these. I got to try one of these. Here we go. So right in here. Oh, onions. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. What am I doing, man? I have this without onions. All right, here we go. With that Mexican Velveeta, the Cincinnati chili, the fine shredded cheddar cheese, the onions. Mm-hmm. 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 There you are, lovely. Wow. Trish, let's get a shot of this. Look at this. Look at that food, man. Tell you what, this is a fun, fun, fun uh, dish to try, you guys. Uh, hey, listen, that's it. Thanks for joining us. What a great show this was. Holy cow. Outstanding food. Holy, holy, holy. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, mash whatever it is, wherever you're seeing us around the internet. And remember, uh, that comment section, here, come back up here for a second. That comment section is our conduit, right? You're not here with me. I, I, I can't chat with you. I can't talk with you. Throw something in that comment section. If, uh, if you notice something, if you got an idea, something to say, you just want to reach out and say hi, say hi to Trish. Uh, so many of you wished her a happy birthday. That was super fun. Uh, guys, my name's Mark Gill. This has been Mark's on the Grill. Look at that hot dog. It's a hot dog, man. That is a freaking hot dog.